I'm always looking for ways to get more greens into my diet. So if you are too, I've got a delicious recipe for you today that can be made vegan, vegetarian, low carb, and even paleo. Stay tuned. Hi, my name is Katrina. Welcome to the Organics Channel, where every week we get together in the kitchen and we create healthy and delicious recipes. Today we're going to be making bok choy stir fry. Let's begin by making our sauce. In a small bowl or a measuring glass, we're going to add in four cloves of chopped up garlic. Now you're always welcome to add in more garlic if you really love the flavor. Next I have one tablespoon of chopped up ginger root, which is so good for your digestion. Next we're going to add one to two tablespoons of honey. So if you would like to make this recipe vegan friendly, you can substitute this with coconut sugar or maple syrup, or if you want to reduce the amount of sugar in the recipe, you can always use a low glycemic sweetener like Lakanto. Next we have two teaspoons of almond butter just for a little bit of protein and creaminess for our sauce. Three tablespoons of liquid aminos and you can always substitute this with coconut aminos for a soy free version. The juice from one half of a lime. One tablespoon of rice vinegar. Now some substitutions for this are apple cider vinegar or you could add in some more lime juice or just completely omit this altogether. Last I have 1 8 to 1 quarter teaspoon of cayenne pepper. Just adjust this to your taste. Whisk together your ingredients really well and then set them aside. Now we are ready for the star of this recipe, bok choy. So bok choy is one of the healthiest leafy green vegetables that you can find. And you can eat the entire thing. You can eat the stalk and the leaf. So sometimes people like to cut the stalk off from and separate it from the leaf so that you can cook the stalk first so that it softens up nicely and then add the leaf in so that you don't overcook the leaf. But I like the crunch. So I'm actually going to add it in all at the same time and just not cook it as long, but it's completely up to you. In a large skillet or wok, Heat up one tablespoon of either olive or avocado oil over medium-high heat. So when your oil is nice and hot, add in your bok choy or just the stems and cook stirring constantly for about two minutes. Then add in your sauce and leaves if you're cooking them separately and continue to cook until your sauce thickens slightly and your leaves have turned a beautiful dark green. About three more minutes. Remove from the heat and then serve on its own or over rice or over cauliflower rice. And you can also top this with your favorite protein and some sesame seeds. Okay, we're ready to give this bok choy stir fry a taste. That has a wonderful flavor. It's nice and spicy. I love the cayenne, the ginger, and the garlic all in there are so delicious. So this really depends on how you want to serve this up. If you're going to serve this over rice or cauliflower rice, I would leave it just as it is because it does have a bit of sauce, as you can see. But if you just want to eat it on your own, you might want to reduce the soy sauce or the liquid aminos by about one tablespoon just so that there's not as much sauce. And it also depends on what sweetener you're using. So if you used coconut sugar, then the sauce would be a little bit thicker than the honey. This is really delicious. You could also add in some more vegetables in here too if you wanted to add mushrooms or carrots or peppers but this is a wonderful base just as it is. Give this one a try. Thanks for being with me today. I appreciate you being here. Hey, make healthy choices this upcoming week and I will see you next week in the kitchen. Take care, bye-bye.